Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode. This is Ms. Sarah Bassioni. We're going to be working on Unit 4, Lessons 3 and 4. Our topic of the day is Science and Technology. I hope you remember what we discussed last lesson about STEM schools. Let's get started with our objectives of the day. We're going to listen to an interview with a STEM school student. We're going to work together to solve problems. We will express certainty and uncertainty. We're going to carry out an inter internet search about the achievements of STEM school students. We will talk about technology, ask and answer a quiz about technology, and we will discuss using technology. Now, let's look at uh, question one. What problems can polluted water cause? First of all, can you guys guess what polluted water is? Let's look at the picture on the right-hand side. Uh, polluted, polluted water is any kind of uh, water that has been uh, infected by germs, bacteria, through throwing garbage, throwing uh, waste, even uh, waste that comes from ships and uh, oil that falls into the river or to the ocean. So what can happen if we drink polluted water, for example? Mm, do you think maybe we can get sick? It can make people ill and unhealthy, probably. So let's go to number two. What do you think we can do about these problems? If you were in charge and you had to do something about pollution, what would you do? I want you to think for a few seconds and write your answers down in your notebooks. Now let's move on to the listening section. We're going to listen to an interview with a STEM school student. Studying at a STEM school can be very easy. Only students who are very good at science, technology, engineering, and maths can study at these schools, and they have to work hard when they get there. But spending time at a STEM school must be very rewarding. Today, I have some students from STEM schools with me. They are going to tell us about their amazing achievements. First of all, Azza is going to talk about an award that she's won. Hello, I won an award for the project that I did at my STEM school. First of all, our class studied the problems caused by polluted water around the world. I understood that people definitely can't stay healthy if they have to drink polluted water. But I also studied plants and realized that some of them can clean dirty water. I asked myself, could this be a way to solve the problem? Hmm, what happened next? I developed an invention that cleans polluted water using only plants. I'm sure that this can help people living in places that do not have fresh water. After we checked that the invention worked well, I entered a science competition in the USA. I was very pleased to win an award. I think my invention might be important. Now I want to take it around the world. There's a chance that it could help millions of people. I think you're probably right. Okay, guys, remember the exercise one question. How can we solve the problem of polluted water? Do you think Azza was able to solve this problem? Definitely. How did she solve this problem? It, she probably did so through the invention that she created by cleaning the water using plants. Okay, now let's move on to exercise three. If you need to listen to the audio one more time, before you start answering those questions, you can do so, definitely. Okay, let's look at number one. We're going to complete the sentences. Only students who are very good at maths and science can study at STEM school. Let's move on to number two. Azza's school studied the problems caused by blank. Caused by polluted water around the world. So. As the school studied the problems caused by polluted water around the world. Let's read question three. She developed an invention that blank. What did her invention do? Her invention cleans polluted water using only plants. Okay, so 
first of all, what is an invention? An invention is anything that is created for the first time to help solve a problem or help improve the quality of life. Okay, let's move on to number four. Aziz's invention could help people. What do you think it could help people with? Okay, it could help people who live in places that do not have clean water. So if someone is living in an area where the land and the water are polluted, this will help with polluted water specifically. Okay, let's move on to number five. Asa wants to take her invention blank so millions of people can use it. Where do you think Azza wants to take her invention? Probably all around the world. It's important for her to make sure many people can use her invention to clean polluted water. Let's move on to exercise four. STEM school students work together to solve problems. Can you work in the same way to answer these questions? What do you think these objects are made of? Now, if we look at the first one, Mm, the girls on the right hand side are guessing that something might be made of plastic and the other girl is saying I'm sure that it's made of plastic it's very likely to be a toy now if we look at the objects the first one is actually a plastic toy brick so the first picture is a plastic toy brick now if we look at the second one if I need to write something I may be using a metal pen it's probably an ink metal pen. If we look at the third one, of course, they are glasses. They are a pair of glasses. So do we need all of those things? Definitely. We need the first picture, A, to play, specifically for children to use to play. The second one is for writing, so it's important. And the third one is to see better. These are all inventions. Now let's look at the fourth one. It might be not very clear to you, so let me... Tell you this is actually a buckle it's a metal buckle and there's there are parts that are leather we use it sometimes to hold our pants up so that they don't fall it is a leather belt so the last picture is a leather belt now let's move on we're going to jump to the functions box so we're going to practice what we've learned in lessons one and two unit four expressing certainty and uncertainty so, to express certainty, we can, we can use, I am sure, he, she, it is, blank. So, we can say whatever we want about something that we are sure about. I am sure he is tired. Or, he, he must be exhausted. Or, we might say, she can't be telling the truth. To express uncertainty, we can say, I am not sure... He is the perfect person for the job. Or we might say, she might be too tired to go to the party. Or I might say, perhaps it will be raining tomorrow. I need to get an umbrella. Now, we're going to start our internet search. So bring out your phones or your tabs or your laptops. And please, let's look for or find out about the achievements of other Egyptian STEM school students. So I'm sure you're going to find a lot of students that are really doing very well in STEM schools and are creating or achieving uh, results based on the information they're learning. So let's find out if there are more students other than Azza that we can read about. Egyptian students that have made achievements in the STEM schools. Now, let's go on to lesson four, exercise one. We're going to read and answer in pairs. So, if you have a partner at home, maybe that partner can help you. Can you match these forms of technology with their meanings? So, we have laptop, ebook, smartphone, and Wi Fi. Now, letter B is done for us. A small computer that you can carry with you is a laptop. Okay, now let's look at the next one, which is number two. Number two is D. Let's read it together. A book that can be read online is an e-book. So if, I, if you want to read a whole book, but you don't want to carry a heavy book in your backpack, you can 
download or purchase or buy an ebook online and therefore you can use it to read online instead of reading it on paper in your hands. Let's move on to number three. Number three is a smartphone. Can you find which one is a smartphone? It is letter C. A smartphone is a mobile phone that can work like a computer. I'm sure many, many students use smartphones nowadays. Um, let's move on to number five, which is our favorite. Everybody loves Wi-Fi at home. Don't you agree? Now, what's another word or another meaning for Wi-Fi? It is definitely A, something which allows mobile computers and phones to connect to the internet. So why do we need Wi-Fi at home? Imagine if your home did not have Wi-Fi, how would you be watching videos and how would you be watching movies and how would you be learning during the coronavirus times? It would be very difficult. So Wi-Fi is used as something that allows computers and mobile phones to connect to the internet. So 4A, let's jump to our quiz of the day. Your teacher asks you to write an essay. Which do you prefer? Is it A, writing it using neat handwriting or typing it on the computer and emailing it? If you were able to write an essay, do you prefer writing it by hand, A, or is it B, you'd like to type it on the, on the computer and email it? Choose one answer and write it down in your notebook. Let's move on to number two. Your favorite writer has written a new story. Would you prefer to A, find the book in the nearest bookshop or would you buy the story as an ebook? Choose one answer. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. They are just your preferences. So choose what you would actually do. Is it 2A or B? Write your answer in your notebook, please. Let's jump to number three. Your friend says you can print something from their laptop, but you have never used the printer before. Do you ask your friend how it works or do you find out how it works from the internet? Choose one answer for number three. Is it A or B? Now let's move on to number four. There is a new ticket machine at the train station. Do you buy your ticket from the ticket office because it is what you always do or do you use the ticket machine to see how it works? I'll repeat number four. There is a new ticket machine at the train station. Do you buy your ticket from the ticket office because that is what you always do or do you use the ticket machine to see how it works? Choose one answer for question four. Let's jump to number five. Your parents say that you can buy new sports shoes. Do you buy them from the sports shop because you like looking at the sports equipment or do you buy them online because that is usually less expensive? Choose one answer for number five. Okay, now let's analyze our answers together. Let's try to understand what our answers mean. If you've answered B to most of the quiz questions, you probably like new technology. Is that true? Do you actually like new technology? Do you like shopping online? Let's look at question two. Why do you think that it is important to understand and use new technology? Imagine a person who has never seen or used technology. Would his or her life be easier or more difficult in the 21st century? Okay, let's jump to number three. Why do you think that old people sometimes find it difficult to use new technology? I want to think about my father, or my grandpa or my grandmother and think about how they reacted with technology. Was it easy for them or not? I remember all the funny situations that they had to be enduring or facing when they had to use a mobile phone for the first time or when I was trying to teach them to use a computer. I'm sure that was very funny for all of you if you've ever experienced it. Now let's go on to our wrap up of the day. We have listened to an interview with a STEM school student. We have worked together to solve problems. We have expressed certainty and uncertainty. And we have carried out an internet search about the achievements of STEM school students. And we talked about technology and we discussed using it as well. That's a wrap. 
Thank you, guys. You did an awesome job today. I know the topic was new and challenging, but I'm sure you are doing great. Thank you. Have a lovely day.